Hello, this is Peter from First Maths, and today we're looking at number patterns in multiplication tables for year four. The resources you need is simply a worksheet, and I have provided that in this. There you go, that will be the worksheet you will be doing today. Isn't that exciting? The mental learning objective. I can extend the operations of multiplication and division. Mental learning task. Today's lesson focuses on the number patterns that can be found in the multiplication tables. What is a missing number in these sequences? Three, six, nine, something, 15, something, 21. Pause for video and tell your teacher. What's the next one? Four, eight, something, 16, something, 24, 28. What is the missing numbers? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Here's another one. Six, 12, 18, 24, something, something, something. What are the missing numbers? Pause the video and tell your teacher. 25, 30, something, something, something. What are my missing numbers? Pause the video, tell your teacher, and maybe the class could chart them up afterwards. 90, 80, 70, something, 50, 40, something, 20, something, zero. Pause the video. What are the missing numbers? Could this sequence go below zero? How would it go after zero? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Hold these three numbers in your head. 8, 15 and 12. I'm now going to ask you some questions about them. So the numbers are 8, 15 and 12. Which of the numbers are multiples of 2? Which are multiples of 5? Pause and tell your teacher. Which numbers are in the four times table? Pause and tell your teacher. This time we're going to try to vision questions. Hold these numbers in your head. 8, 11 and 20. Which of the numbers could you divide by 2? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Which of these numbers was in the five times table? Pause the video and tell your teacher. This time we're going to try division questions again. Hold these numbers in your head. 15, 21 and 20. Which of the numbers are divisible by 3? Pause the video and tell the teacher. What are some of their factors? Factors, if you remember, means things like 3 times 7 is 21. So what numbers multiply together to make these numbers? Pause the video and tell the teacher. Here's our mental learning objective. I can extend the operations of multiplication and division. Now we're looking at the main learning objective. I can use addition to discover multiplication facts. I can extend my understanding of the operations of multiplication and division. You can sometimes find a new multiplication fact by doubling one you already know, which makes maths much easier to do. That is today's key idea main learning task. 
Today we're going to look at multiplication of grids. You shall see one with all the numbers and then one with numbers missing. Here is a multiplication grid which has been completed. Look at the different patterns you can see in this grid. Pause the video to, to see how many different patterns you can see in the data. Now I'm going to remove some numbers and see if you can work out what is missing. Can you fill in this grid? Pause the video and have a try. You will need to look for patterns in the numbers. If you are getting the idea, then we shall move on. What is 30 divided by 6 equal? That's right, you are correct. It is 5. What is 42 divided by 6 equal? 3, 2, 1, tell me. You are, that's right, it is 7. You are awesome. Here's the main learning task. Now complete the worksheet. Pause the video, if you wish, and complete the task. There's a main task, a simpler task, and a harder task for you to try. The simplification provide a number line for pupils to make jumps along either with their fingers or with felt tip pens. Challenge. Part 3 of a worksheet is suited for a faster and more able pupils who need extra work. Main learning objective. I can use addition to discover multiplication facts. I can extend my understanding of the operations of multiplication and division. Here is the plenary. Can you count in twos? Can you count in fours? Can you count in eights? Let's try. Let's count together. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Let's look at the next one. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And the last one, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. These are numbers you have just said. What patterns do you see horizontally. What can you tell me about those patterns? What patterns do you see vertically? What's happening between 2, 4 to 8 or 4, 8, 16? What's happening in each line going downwards? What is the relationship between 2 4 and the 8 times table. They are each double the one before it. Would this work for other tables? Like, for instance, the 3 times table and the 6 times table. And the 12 times table. What do you think? Which one? How is doubling and halving useful in multiplication and division? Pause the video and tell your teacher. I'm now going to hide some of the numbers in the bottom row. Can you say which numbers are missing by doubling and halving the other numbers? Pause the video. And tell me, which work numbers are covered up?
Did you solve my riddle? Explain to your teacher how you did it. Review of a key idea. You can sometimes find a multiplication fact by doubling one you already know. Did you learn this in this lesson? Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like below. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell to be informed every time I upload a maths resource. I love uploading new maths resources. I create maths quizzes, maths games, maths puzzles, maths lessons. And so if you'd like to know whenever I make a new maths resource, press that bell and you will always know. I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!